teaching students about the Australian Parliament can be engaging, exciting and easy. The best way to teach your class about the Parliament is to turn your class into a Parliament. With the help of this video, your students will run their own debates, make their own speeches and vote on issues just like real Members of Parliament. Members of Parliament are elected by the Australian people to make decisions about how Australia is governed. They debate issues and then vote on them. Through role play, your students will run their own debates in their own Parliament. This role play presents a simplified version of the real Parliament, capturing its main ideas without all the complex procedural detail. All of the scripts, resources, and information that you will need for the role play are on the PEO website. One of the main ways that Parliament makes decisions for Australia is by passing laws. A proposed law is called a bill. To become a law, a bill must be agreed to in both the House of Representatives and the Senate. It is then signed by the Governor-General. Most bills start in the House of Representatives. If you want more information about how laws are made, Watch the PEO's lawmaking video. To get your class started, try a few preparation activities on the PEO website. This will give your students some idea of how members of the House of Representatives are elected and what work they do. You'll need a bill to debate. The PEO website has suggestions to help you decide on a bill. For our role play, the students will be using the No Homework Bill from the PEO website. Preparing some costumes and props will help your students get into role. Transform your classroom into the House of Representatives. Move the chairs into a horseshoe shape with a table at one end. You can now sort the class into government and opposition teams and independents and minor parties. Make sure that the ratio of members in your chamber compares to the real House of Representatives. Refer to the Parliament now on the PEO website for the current numbers in the House. The government team will need a Prime Minister, Minister, and Team Whip. The opposition will need a leader of the opposition, shadow minister, and Team Whip. You'll need a student who is good at reading, speaking, and keeping order to be the speaker. You'll also need two students to be the clerk, and the sergeant at arms. Your House of Representatives is ready to begin. The sergeant at arms and the speaker stand outside the House of Representatives. The session begins when the sergeant at arms leads the speaker into the chamber. Honourable members, please stand. Sergeant. Honourable members, the speaker. Members, please sit down. The House is now in session. The rules of the House must be obeyed. Clerk, please read out the rules. Always stand up to speak. Begin your speech with the words Madam Speaker or Mr Speaker. Members should not interrupt each other. The Speaker keeps order. The clerk reads the title of the bill for the first time. The bill can now be debated. Clerk, read the title of the bill. First reading, the No Homework Bill. A bill for an act to ban homework in Australian schools. The first person to speak in the debate 
is the minister responsible for the bill. I call the Minister for Education to introduce the bill. Madam Speaker, I am pleased to introduce this bill to the House. After spending many hours at school, students are tired and don't need to do more schoolwork. If we ban homework, children have more time for other activities like sport and music. Hear, hear, hear. The Shadow Minister usually speaks next. I call the Shadow Minister for Education. Madam Speaker, I am going to vote against this bill. Studies show that homework helps children remember what they learn in school. If homework is banned, children will just waste more time playing video games. Hear, hear. I call the member for Holt. Madam Speaker, I am going to vote for the bill. Parents have to supervise homework and sometimes even do their children's homework for them. This doesn't help anyone. A happy home is one without any homework. <laughs> I call the member for Brisbane. Madam Speaker, I'm going to vote against this bill. Homework teaches good study habits and shows students that learning can happen outside school. A better education means a better future for Australian children. I call the member for Denson. Madam Speaker, I am concerned that students are doing too much homework. However, I cannot support this bill as it is. Later, I'll the session ends when all the members have made their speeches, or if you run out of time. for high school students. The Speaker adjourns the chamber. Order. The House is adjourned. Honourable members, please stand. Sergeant. In the real House of Representatives, speeches can take a long time and may be spread over weeks or months. This gives members time to research and talk about bills with each other and the community. By adjourning the debate, you can give your students more time to research and prepare. Parties can work together to share ideas, and independents and minor party members can think more about the bill. However, if all students have already prepared their speeches, you won't need to adjourn the debate. The students resume their debate in the House of Representatives in the same way they started. Honourable members, please stand. Honourable members, the Speaker. Members, please sit down. The House is now in session. Are there any other comments on the bill? Stand if you wish to speak. I call the member for Harry. Madam Speaker, I think we should ban all homework because um, like, when they get home from school, they've just had seven hours of solid working, like, except for recess and lunch, that is. But when they get home, they should be able to stimulate their brains in other ways, like with sport and music. Uh, I think we should ban homework. Yeah. Yeah. Stand if you wish to speak. I call the member for Cameron. Madam Speaker, I disagree with this bill. Homework builds up to children's general knowledge and teachers can see how kids are working at home. Yeah. Stand if you wish to speak. I call the member for Alicia. Madam Speaker, I think we should ban homework because kids are spending hours in the afternoon doing homework rather than outside exercising. Hear, hear. Stand if you wish to speak. I call the member for Cindy. Madam Speaker, I disagree with this bill. Homework is important for students because it helps students to prepare for future study. Hear, hear. Madam Speaker, I think homework in Australia should be banned. Children already get enough work at school. I think if we should keep homework because it improves their learning. The less stressed children are, the better When all the students have made their speeches, homework, so it will be time to have a vote on the bill, the to see if it will My be agreed to. Homework, that's not revision, and that's not right. Because it allows children to remember what they've learnt at school, and if they've been away, it allows them to catch up on their work. Mm. 
when the House of Representatives decides if the bill should pass, it begins with a vote on the voices. All of those of that opinion say aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. If all members agree with the bill, it is passed with the vote on the voices. Bills are often passed this way. Order. A vote on the bill will now be taken. The question is, should the bill be read a second time? Those who agree say aye. Aye. Those who disagree say no. No. I think the ayes have it. However, your members will not all agree with the bill because the opposition was against it. When this happens, the opposition calls for a division vote. In a division, the votes of all members are counted and the results are recorded. Opposition Whip. Is a division required? Madam Speaker, a division is required. So a division required? Yes. Clerk, ring the bells for four minutes. The bells ring for four minutes to allow any members who are not in the chamber to return and vote on the bill. Members might not be in the chamber because they are doing other work throughout Parliament House. The eyes pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left. The government and opposition members usually vote with their party. The independents and minor party members will choose to support or oppose the bill. Clerk, ring the bell for four minutes. Your class will not need four minutes. The clerk can ring the bells as a way of announcing that the division is about to take place. Order. Those who support the bill move to the right side of the Speaker's chair. Those who oppose the bill move to the left of the Speaker's chair. Whips, count the vote. Result of the division. The number of votes for the bill is 14. The number of the votes against the bill is 12. The bill is agreed to. Clerk, read the title of the bill a second time. Second reading, the No Homework Bill. A bill for an act to ban homework in all schools. As the majority of votes were for the bill, it is agreed to and the clerk will read its title a second time. However, if the majority of votes were against the bill, it would have failed and could not become a law. Order. The House is now adjourned. Honourable Members, please stand. If the bill was passed, the members could still consider making small changes to the bill, called amendments. The PEO website has instructions on how your class can consider amendments, as well as other follow-up activities. If the bill is to become a law, it must be debated and voted on in the Senate, before being signed by the Governor-General. Don't stop at one debate. Repeating the role play will give students the chance to play a range of roles and debate more issues. It won't be long before students are running the debate all by themselves. Music